Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about a couple things. we got one big main topic that I'm going to be talking about, and I think you guys are going to be very interested in what it is. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about Season 8 and some potential villains that may be returning. Now, nothing is confirmed as of right now, but Teddy Sears posted on Instagram, and this was actually brought up by Paigey on Twitter, so credit where credit is deserved. However, so in Teddy Sears' post, it's a callback post or like a flashback post, and it's of him dressed up in the makeup trailer on the Flash set, getting ready to show up as Zoom in the 100th episode. Obviously, this isn't confirmation or anything that Zoom is going to be returning. However, what he says in the description is very, very interesting. So he says, September 2018, cross-eyed and back in the chair for the 100th episode. Anyone else want to see Zoom one last time in Season 8 would be great fun. And so this is not Teddy Sears confirming like the show is over or something just one last time. He's just saying that, you know, it's not that likely that Zoom's going to return for a whole season but he would like to show up again as Zoom for at least like one more time. And I think it's just a weirdly worded Instagram post. However, it is great to see that he is totally down and he literally wants this to happen. Like there is no reason why he would have posted this. Obviously, you know, you will get a lot of likes and stuff and there will be a lot of interest. However, if he actually wanted to do this and he posted it out there and referenced like literally talking about season eight, he definitely wants it, so if the Flash writers see this, and if Eric Wallace sees this, it could spark an idea, how, ooh, how can we bring back Zoom, that would be great. And I'm pretty sure Eric Wallace has actually said that he loves Zoom, and he loved that season of The Flash, season 2 of course, and so, you know, if they come up with an idea, and obviously Teddy wants to come back, I think we're totally gonna see Zoom back, definitely before the show ends, and the show as said by Eric Wallace, probably will go on for at least a couple more seasons. So what do you guys think of this? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you like to see Zoom coming back and when do you think he's actually going to show up? And do you actually think it's possible that in Season 8, Teddy Sears does actually show up as Zoom like he suggests here? I think there is a slight possibility, but again, they're just going to have to work around the story that they already had. And maybe something else is going on behind the scenes that we don't know about and this is just Teddy teasing his return. However, we will just have to wait and see and get official confirmation about that. So yeah, let's move on to the next thing. And now, talking about villains, we've talked about this and I just wanted to quickly bring it up whilst we're on the topic of Zoom. Like, who could potentially be the main villain? And now, lots of people have been saying that, obviously, the big ones are Cobalt Blue and Red Death. I think that is definitely the most likely people. The way that Eric Wallace actually described a villain that they weren't able to use back at the start of season six for like just one short episode and that was to tease his potential return in the future well that villain is apparently going to be showing up in season eight however the way he describes it doesn't seem like it's going to be a main season villain because they would have already planned their main season villain because they've been writing this season season eight the upcoming season for quite a while now and you know they've been in the writers room for like a month and a half maybe as far as I know and so obviously with him saying that is still a question mark about that certain villain that they weren't ever able to use it seems that that person's not going to be the big bad so it's more likely than not someone that the writers have been thinking about for a while and they've been cooking up in the back of their head and it's clear with what Eric Wallace has been saying in some of these videos that the writers and him do listen to fans and what they want. You know, the whole idea of the West Allen ending of season seven was to say thank you to the fans. And like, if they didn't listen to the fans, they wouldn't have known that. So it's obvious that they could be listening in regards to who could be the villain for season eight and any ideas. So I think the idea of Cobalt Blue is probably the most likely because apparently the main villain of at least part of the season is going to be in relation to Barry and Iris and their marriage and is going to put a big strain on that and I think Eddie definitely has the biggest kind of connection to them out of anyone else I can think of 
And in regards to the first five episodes of season eight, we know that it's going to be kind of maybe a little bit contained, but it will have like elements of the main Flash story, even though there are going to be crossovers happening in those episodes. So maybe those stories are contained, but also connected to the big bad of whatever the first graphic novel of this season is. So we know that like Iris' story is going to be continuing on in those episodes. We know that Kramer's story is going to be wrapped up in the first couple of episodes as well. So there is some sort of link. But I do think Cobalt Blue is the best bet as of right now. But let's move on to the next topic. Now this is not in regards to villains, but it's in regards to DC fandom. So recently Comic Con at Home went on and obviously wasn't that big because a lot of the big Places like DC and Marvel, they all set out so that they can run their own thing. Obviously, last year, you guys will remember, they ran DC Fandom. And DC Fandom is actually happening this year. Last year, they split up into two months. They did it in the summer, and then they did it in October, I believe, or maybe the end of September. But this year, it's going to be mid-October. This is going to be perfect timing for like the Flash's return. I really do think there is going to be a trailer for the Flash and that's what we're gonna get into in just a moment because it is going to be hitting mid-October for DC Fandom and obviously DC Fandom acts as what they would normally do at San Diego Comic Con where they would have the panels, they would have all the cast there, they would be teasing what's to come in the you know season to come. I've been lucky enough to actually been at one of these panels. I was there for the season five panel when they were teasing, you know, blood work and stuff, I saw the trailer for the first time out of anyone. It was awesome. And so DC fandom last year was quite good because you got to see like a clip of what is going to be happening in season seven at the time. And obviously they didn't shoot anything because of the pandemic. However, it was cool to get some footage of some stuff that was unreleased, right? So now this leads me to talking about The Flash season eight. Now with DC fandom coming out in mid-October, it makes complete sense that we're going to be seeing a Flash Season 8 trailer, because the Flash Season 8 is coming out in mid-November, so like a month after DC fandom, so it's absolutely perfect timing, and this also could let them have like a final Supergirl panel, because you know, Supergirl is ending in November, mid-November, just before the Flash comes back. So with DC Fandom, they can tease the Supergirl series finale and actually have the cast all sit down and do a proper big interview about the last season. And it would act as their sort of last San Diego Comic Con panel like Arrow had, but in real life, obviously, like in person at San Diego Comic Con. So that's obviously a good thing for Supergirl's final season as well. But in regards to The Flash, totally we're going to get a trailer because they are filming mid-August. I believe that they're going to be starting to film sometime in the next week, so be on the lookout for maybe some set photos that are going to start coming out, but in regards to the fandom, they're 100% going to have enough footage by then, I mean they're going to have like over 5 episodes in the bag by the time of mid-October, so they're going to have that crossover stuff done, they can tease the crossover, and everything that is going to be happening. They can, you know, do big announcements. Oh, this character is going to appear in the crossover episode. And, oh, wait, Supergirl isn't going to show up. However, we would have liked her to show up. Or, you know, all of the kind of usual announcements that they make at these big events is going to be happening in mid-October at DC Fandom. So expect a big Flash Season 8 panel, a big Supergirl series finale panel, and them teasing everything that's to come. So hopefully that answered a lot of people's queries because I have had a lot of question in regards to like when we're going to be seeing the trailers. Is it just going to be randomly or is it going to be linked with a big event like they normally do? Because if you guys remember before the pandemic and before all of this and you know cons being online, basically every time San Diego Comic Con came around in the summer, all the shows would go there, they would bring their cast, it's literally in the contract, they have to show up to San Diego Comic Con no matter what. Like one year Melissa was on Broadway and she had to take like a two, three day leave just to go do San Diego Comic Con because it's in a contract. So they would go there, they would, you know, tease the season by having a panel with some journalists talking to them and asking them questions and then the fans would be able to interact and you know get signings and meet their favorite celebrities and who play their favorite characters 
So that's what normally happens in the summer. However, due to current circumstances, it's online. DC Fandom was a thing last year and it's going to be a thing this year as well. So looking forward to all of that and hopefully this answered a lot of people's questions and theories about what's going to be happening with the Flash Season 8 trailer. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. Also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.